hi guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And uh, i am got a few minutes to spare, working all day today on a lawn tractor, replacing belts and pulleys and bear and all that kind of stuff. Spent five hours on that thing, laying on the ground mostly. But I have a little bit of time this evening, and I want to uh, plot out my... Uh, bolt holes for my engine and then transfer them onto the mo uh, the uh, yeah the back of the tractor so what I'm going to do is I have some uh, heavy uh, cardboard well it's not really cardboard it's more like card stock and uh, I've already cut a hole in the middle so I could slide it over and this bottom hole down here is the one that I have a lineup for already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my little ball peen hammer here. And I'm going to pop that hole out just like that. And then I'm going to take a short bolt of the same size that goes in there and uh, I want to make it shorter than what I actually have naturally I get one that has a burr in it or a piece of dirt in it or something so my nut won't go on let's try another one all right so I'm going to take a bolt, these are 3 8 and I'm going to line this hole up here and I'm going to start the bolt in the hole and then I'm going to tighten the nut right up so that my paper will not move and then I'm going to come up here to the other side and feel if I can feel about where the other hole is I'm going to do the same thing. Very lightly tapping. I don't want to be messing up my engine block, you know. But I do that. And knock out that hole. Get another bolt. With another nut, if I can find another nut. Tell I was really prepared for this, can't you? Yeah. Different jar has the nuts in it. Okay, here we go. Now the reason for doing the two bolts is I could just hold it in place, I guess, but there's always a chance of the paper sliding on you. You know what I mean? And uh, when you get old like me and your hands tend to shake a little bit, there's a good chance in trying to get the other things lined up that they will. So this way here, I have it mounted and it's not going to move now on me. And I can go around this hole, punch that one out. And then I'm going to come down the bottom here and find my other one. You can just about feel it through the paper. And I don't think I got the hole that time. I think I got the concave around it. No, I didn't. The hole is actually out here further. And there's the hole. There are other recesses on the bottom of the block besides the holes. So now um, I know that this is the hole that's going to go on the one that corresponded to where I was lining it up on the block before. So all I got to do is take this over here now and I'm going to drill out the one hole on the block because they were only 5 sixteenths. 
I'm going to draw out the one that was good with the 3 8 and then I can mount my cardboard right on there and we'll go to town and marking our other holes. So now you can see this is the one that I had lined up already and you can see the hole right there. I need to move my engine back a little bit. Get a little more clearance in there for working. So this is the one that I already had and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this hole out then I will make this end parallel between the holes and the back of this um, recessed area. This whole area where the motor goes is recessed a little bit from the rest of the frame. So we'll get this one drilled out. I'll put a bolt in there to hold it in place. Actually I suppose I could just I could I could wing this one, can I? You, you gonna trust me to wing this one? Alright. I'm gonna get my nail punch and I'll punch each one of these. Of course, I want to make sure that the distance is the same from the edge on these back ones here. And I have a half an inch there, and I have, I get almost three quarters there. So I need to slide it that way a little bit more. I have more than three quarters there. And I have five eighths there. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Should swing it that way. Now let's see what we have. I have three quarters exactly to the edge. I have five eighths to the edge. Got to swing it some more. I have eleven sixteenths to the edge. Told you I should have bolted it in place, and that's what I'm going to do before I make a more of a mess of it. Let me do what I'm supposed to do, and a nut. right there. So I'm tightening that down right where it is. And I'll get my center punch. We're going to use our automatic center punch. Center punch that one. Center punch that one. And finally center punch that one. And drill our pilot holes first. So I've got all my hill holes drilled out. This one here, just like I was afraid, is landing right on top of a bracket underneath. And I have them drilled a little over 3 8 but I'm going to take them a little bit bigger. One of the things I like about this uh, Harbor Freight uh, drill is it has a half inch chuck on it, so I could take it all the way up, use a half inch drill bit. I didn't want to go that big. And uh, I like to be able to do one step at a time without changing bits. Also a Harbor Freight um, step drill there. All right, so now 
Um, what I'm thinking I probably will end up doing, but I'm going to put a bolt down in there and weld it in place like that, and then I'll be able to uh, put a nut on it from the top. And I'll have to drill out the boss on the engine because the boss on the engine is tapped. So, having said all that, now I want to try and see if my motor is going to work. You can see the bolt in there that stuck down through the hole. I drilled out the threads there. And you can see a bolt down in there. These are going to get longer bolts when they're all done. And I'll just show you underneath. See if we can see it all. There's one right back there. And come back this way. And here's another one right there. This is the one that is missing, but you can see very carefully. If you look, you can see the shiny of the bolt. And then back there, you see the other one. And that bracket there just gets in the way enough so that it interferes with getting that bolt in there. You can get it in, but you have to swing it in at an angle. So she's all bolted down, and I'm pretty satisfied with that the way it is and uh, I won't try to put the pulley on now there ain't no sense to it you've already seen it on it will it will go on I just gotta um, make sure everything's lined up up in front but it will go on so there we have it and uh, my next step will be to clean the motor real good take it back off and clean it up real good, power wash it. I'm probably gonna check the valve adjustments on it, just because. And uh, this overhead valve. So we'll check the valve adjustments. I'll check the spark plugs. I haven't checked any of that stuff. And then before I drop it back into place, um, I'll clean this area of the frame back in here probably take it down to bare metal prime it and give it a, a quick coat of Arian's Orange also known as Ace Orange Ace Orange paint is an exact match so yeah I'm happy about that I've been thinking about it all day while I was working on that other mower and uh, wishing that I had time to be here then when we get the motor all mounted, then we'll have to think about linkages and big thing will be exhaust. Will we have dual exhaust on it or shall I just put a stuff a single muffler on that pipe right there? What are we going to do? I don't know. So thanks for coming along with me and uh, one more step in getting this thing running thanks again and uh, oh yeah it's been a good day how about you bye now <laughs>